In this video, I want to share with you how you can edit prompts on Ideogram and basically take one prompt, scale it, and get a whole bunch of designs out of that one prompt. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on merch by Amazon and other print-on-demand platforms. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Now before I share with you how you can edit those prompts on Ideogram, just want to do a quick sales update for merch by Amazon. So it is Tuesday, May 21st, 9.21 a.m., kind of a slow start to the morning, only two sales, a big dollar <clears throat> and 64 cents. But it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yesterday was actually a really good day. Um, 89 sales, $121 in royalties. That's going to put me at almost 1,400 sales and over $2,000 for the month. Now, if you want to follow me on Instagram where I post my daily sales for both Merch by Amazon and Etsy, the link is in the description. I also post like gym pics, entrepreneur pics, lifestyle pics, just like my life down here in Mexico. I'm born and raised in Mill Valley, California, but I've been living in beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico for the past uh, 18 years now. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get into the content of the video. So if you've been following my channel, you know that I've been offering memberships recently. And one of the memberships is the gold membership. And when you become a gold member, you get uh, every month, you're going to get a word file with 100 prompts for the following month. So I just finished actually making that word file of the 100 prompts. That's what motivated me or inspired me to make this video. So I just want to share with you how you can take one of those prompts. And like I said, scale it out, you know, just change a couple words and get a whole bunch of more designs out of that one prompt. So here is one of the designs or one of the prompts from uh, the word file. I believe July is some like uh, Argentina Independence Day. So that's where I got this uh, idea from. But here is one of the prompts. You can see it's a really good uh, prompt. These, this is, uh, they're all magic prompts. So a, whims a whimsical and enchanting illustration of a cartoon unicorn adorned in a vibrant blue and white coat with a flowing mane and tail and a prominent horn. The unicorn playfully holds a flag with blue and white stripes, reminiscent of the Argentina flag. So you can see like it's really detailed, very specific. In a delightful and unexpected twist, the unicorn is seen skillfully kicking a soccer ball with its hoof. The background features a light blue sky adorned with twinkling yellow stars, creating an enchanting nighttime or, fe or festive atmosphere. And I always choose an illustration. Well, not always, but I think it's good to choose illustration. That's going to help. And you can see how the design came out. I think that looks really good. Um, maybe even sell well during uh, the World Cup. Um, but I want to show you how you can just change a couple words here and get a totally different design. So one thing that we can do right here is we can change the animal. So instead of doing like a unicorn, maybe we could do a panda. So let's just change unicorn right here to panda. And then we're going to adorn in a vibrant blue and white. We don't want coat because that's what the, the unicorns have. So we're going to go like sports jersey, sports jersey. With a, We don't want flowing mane and horns. So we get rid of that. Put a period. The panda. Oops. The panda. Playfully holds a flag with blue and white stripes, reminiscent of in a delightful and unexpected twist. The panda is seen skillfully kicking a soccer ball with uh, with its foot. The background features a light blue sky adorned with twinkling yellow stars, creating an enchanting nighttime or festive atmosphere. Okay, so that looks good. Let me just click illustration here again. Okay, there we go. We're going to hit generate. Let's see what it comes up with. And then I'll show you a couple other things I like to do once I find the one that I like. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. Usually it's pretty quick. You can see it's starting. This one looks like it could be the best, but you never know. Okay, come on. Okay, so here we go. So these actually look uh, really good. And what I like to do here is I like to find the one that I like the best. So like this one it looks like his knee is broken. This one, the feet are kind of small, but maybe this could work. Um, this one also looks good, but its foot looks weird. And this one's missing some teeth. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go with this one right here. So I like to click on this. And then what I like to do is I like to uh, remix it right here. And then we can actually, this image way right here, you can move this up or down. So if you want it like to look a lot like what it already is, you can move this up to like, you know, 70, 80. 50 and then vice versa if you want like something um, you know a little different then you can move it down for this one I think I'm just going to uh, keep it the same right at 50 and let's go ahead and click generate and see if we get and we'll get four more variations of that one that we like so this is the way that I like to basically do my prompts see if we can get something that's even better this one looks like it's missing teeth again this one here the flags kind of messed up so I think this one is actually the best 
And I think that looks pretty good. Um, we can go ahead and even remix it again. Let me show you what I mean by like if you want to make it exactly the same or different. So we just click remix right here. And then we're going to go the image weight. Let's go down to one. Hit generate. See if we can maybe get something different. And then once I'm done showing you this uh, design, I'll show you how you can do the same thing, but kind of with text. Okay, so look at this here. They put a goal, um, like a, yeah, a goal or a goalie in the background. That looks pretty cool. Again, this foot looks kind of broken right here. But here you can see how you can just like keep getting like different variations. And instead of doing the unicorn, now we got a panda. All right, so that's one example right there. Now let me show you how you can do the same thing, but change it with text. Okay, so here's another prompt from the Word file that the gold members will be getting. I believe it's going to be Sarcoma Awareness Month in July. And you can see this actually turned out really good. This is what the prompt look like, looks like. So a powerful and, and impactful illustration on a black background featuring striking white and yellow text. At the center, a vibrant yellow ribbon symbolizes awareness, flanked by two majestic wings that embody strength and hope. Again, you can see these magic prompts are just very detailed, very descriptive. The text above the ribbon reads, my hero is now my angel, evoking a deep emotional connection. Between the ribbon, the text sarcoma awareness stands out, raising awareness for this critical cause. The wings and ribbons are the focal point of the image, delivering a strong message of resilience and hope. Again, you, and again, we see the illustration. So now let's go ahead and take this prompt and let's do something different. Let's go with like maybe like colon cancer. So a powerful and impactful illustration on a black background featuring striking white and blue, because I believe blue is the color for colon cancer. Um, and blue text at the center of vibrant blue. Ribbon symbolizes awareness, flanked by two majestic wings that are embodied strength and hope. The text above the ribbon reads, my hero is now my angel. Okay, we can leave that the same. Evoking a deep emotional connection below the ribbon, the text, let's go with capitals, colon, cancer. Uh, awareness stands out, raising awareness for this critical cause. The wings and ribbons are the focal point, delivering a strong. Okay, so that looks good. Now let's go ahead and generate this. Let's see what we get. And might have to remix it again like we kind of did last time. But hopefully this turns out good. Okay, so this one is actually looking pretty good right here. I always try and guess which one will be the best. Well, it's okay. So bam, so that looks really good. So you see how we just took one, um, you know, one prompt, one design, and now we have it for colon cancer. We can do this for all the cancers, all the different types of awarenesses, the syndromes, the diseases, things like that. And actually, this one looks pretty good too. My hero is now my angel. So I really like that one. And you see how easy it is. All you have to just come in here and just edit it. And you know, when you have, when you're starting with these magic props, it just makes it a lot easier. Again, you just got to pop in or change the, you know, the text, change the color, change the type of animal, things like that. So comment below and let me know what you guys think about this editing process to basically take one prompt, scale it out and get a whole bunch of different designs. Now I want to share with you some resources that help me get sales like this. I actually just got a sale, so that made me feel a little bit better. Um, but I'm now, like I said, I'm now offering memberships on my YouTube channel. So you just click this join button right here, and then let me just pause this video so it doesn't make noise. So there's three tiers. You have the bronze, silver, and gold. Now the bronze is basically if you just want to support the free content. You also get a loyalty badge and priority reply to comments. But the real value is going to be in the silver and the gold membership. So the silver is going to get you uh, four videos a month or one a week. It's going to come out every Monday at uh, 6 a.m. And basically those videos are going to have five to ten low competition evergreen niches. And each one of those niches is going to come with an ideogram prompt. And then you're also going to get every day a market update. So let me show you what that looks like. So basically I make these posts in my community or in my membership uh, section right here. And I just do a little like market update talking about any trending niches. So let me show you. I won't show you today's, uh, but I'll show you the one from like a couple weeks ago or nine days ago. So like for example, I do a market update right here and I share with you uh, some trending niches like when Feral Girl Summer was uh, trending and Bear We Trust. Um, and I give a prompt with it as well. And now I'm also offering like an example of keywords, which you want to put like for your brand, uh, title, bullet one, bullet two. And basically this is good. Like if you're into trending niches and you want to kind of like beat the crowd, this is basically what I spend a lot of my time doing. I'm just looking for these trending niches so I can make these posts in the morning. Um, so you guys can get some good value. So that's what the silver gets you. It's going to get you those four videos a month or once a week. And then those daily market updates for trending niches. So you're going to get all, you're going to get trending niches, but you're also going to get evergreen niches as well. 
And then if you want to do the gold, you're going to basically get everything in the silver membership, but you're also going to get once a month a word file like I was talking about earlier in this video of 100 prompts for the following month. So today I believe is May 20th. So if you become a gold member today, uh, June 1st, you're going to get a word file with 100 prompts for ideogram for niches that will be trending in July. That way you will have a month amount of time to basically prepare yourself, get the designs, uh, get them uploaded to uh, Merch by Amazon or any other print on the mail platform to get you some sales, right? And the cost for this, for the silver, it's only $7 a month and the gold, it's only $10 a month. And if this join button is not available in your country, I offer the exact same thing for the exact same price on my Patreon. So where is it? Yeah, right here. So join my Patreon. This is the exact same thing, exact same price on Patreon. So if you're interested, you can join up there. Um, and then also if you're like new to Merch by Amazon, you're starting to get sales, you're stuck in tier 10, making like under hundred dollars a month. I have a Merch by Amazon beginners course. Uh, so it's a really good course for people that are beginners struggling to get sales. I'm gonna teach you everything that I know since I've been on Merch by Amazon for the past seven years. I'm not the best Merch by Amazon seller, but you can see I do pretty good. $93, 124, 99, 104. So basically doing a little over a hundred dollars a day. Um, I'm a tier eight seller waiting to get tiered up um, it's gonna happen any day now so that is exciting and then if you just want like some free content you can go to you just click on my name right here and you can see all the other courses that I offer Etsy courses Redbubble course but then I have some freebies here for some 10 free ideogram Father's Day prompts 50 free prompts for trending June niches and also some uh, seven free prompts for trending Redbubble niches so also get some freebies as well and then if you just want to support the channel and get like free content you can subscribe to my YouTube channel I put out videos on a regular basis let me just show you that real quick let me pause that okay so if you go here you'll see all my uh, videos and this is what the like the members only videos look like right here you can see it's for members only and then I also have these uh, playlists so if you just want to come in here and get some actually let me go to the home because it's a little easier to kind of navigate pause that again so right here you're going to see like I have a playlist for trending niches evergreen niches Etsy flying research ads a lot of people ask me about ads I have vlogs so if you want to get to know me kind of see like behind the scenes about what my life is like living down here in Mexico the food I eat you know my family uh, things like that what I like to do in the day also goals I'm really like into self-improvement I do daily or monthly goals uh, habits all that stuff I also have uh, content about audiobooks and I should have an ideogram uh, playlist and also a Redbubble playlist coming up here shortly so you can just get some more free content that way okay that's enough of me um, I'm gonna take a break here uh, uh, log off on the video but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one adios